A year ago, the Gulf Giants were on cloud nine, etching their name in history and celebrating in style. The inaugural DP World ILT20 competition goes to the Giants. But this season, there'd be more downs than ups, and the Giants now sit rock bottom of the table, leaving head coach Andy Flower with much to ponder. Charger Warriors also sit outside the top four, despite the excellence of Johnson Charles, who's been prolific at the top of the order, and spin ace Mahesh Tikshana, who is thrilled with the ball. But one victory can change the mood quickly. And tonight, in Dubai's Ring of Fire, one of these two teams will boost their playoff ambitions. Yes, welcome to the Dubai International Cricket Stadium for match 22. It's the Gulf Giants against the Sharjah Warriors. My Emirates uh, are just about to wrap up a, a win in Abu Dhabi and uh, they're extending their lead at the top of the table but at the wrong end of the table you've got this match here tonight so two teams desperate for the points yeah the Gulf Giants and the Sharjah Warriors at the wrong end of the table this is a really really big match for both these teams let's join Danny Morrison out in the middle for the toss it is that time here for the coin toss. I've got to say, it's a little tundra out here with the breeze. Right here, let's get into it. Two captains, match referee, and I guess what? We've got the double V. Our coin toss representative, Vishal Vora, is here. Good to see you, sir. Now, who's stolen the coin? James Vince, thank you. Hats. Warriors have called heads. Come on! He's ahead. The Warriors won the toss. No. You're no. We're going to bowl bat. first, please. You're batting? Bowling. Oh. Everyone bowls. What's going on? I mean, I know it's eight from eight or something, but, but first thing, how are you feeling? Yeah, feeling a lot better now, thank you. You're a bit crook, weren't you? Yeah, a bit of a stomach bug, but oh. all good now. All right, now I'm just thinking, for you, it's a night game. We had a day game here yesterday. Has that changed any thoughts for your uh, playing 11? Um, yeah, there's quite a few changes oh. um, from the last game, because obviously we had three or four guys out. So yes. we've got myself coming back in, Joe Denley coming back in. Um, Lewis, Gregory misses out, and so does Mark Dial. It's funny, isn't it? You do this type of the super sub thing. You don't want to give too much away yeah. on that. But um, uh, by and large, you've got you to win tonight, don't you? You'd like a win? Yeah, I think uh, both of us would like a win tonight. So um, obviously it's about kind of playing a good 40 overs of cricket and see where we are at the end of the night. Go well. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. James Vince, the coin toss. There it is. We'll throw that coin away. It hasn't gone your way again, so you've got to post something. Now, different from yesterday was the afternoon. It's a night game. Um, it looks a little dry, doesn't it? It does now. Um, hopefully it stays that way throughout the night. But uh, we obviously know the advantages to, to chasing here when the dew comes in. But uh, that trend's got to be bucked at some stage. So hopefully tonight's our night. Don't want to give too much away. Have you, have you made any substantial changes? Um, we've got Ayan Khan in for Usman Khan as an extra spin option, and Dominic Drakes comes back into the side as well. OK, go well. And I, listen, I hope to see you signing the ball tonight. <laughs> go Thanks. well. See you, James. Right here, the news is the coin toss went the way of Tom Collicab and the Warriors. Going to, only enough, have a bowl. I think he's showing the effects of his birthday yesterday, right? I got, I got some pace alongside me, was Akram and uh, Simon Dool. We'll have their thoughts in just a moment, but uh, there's a lot to look forward to tonight. Coming up in Cricket Safari, Sharjah Warriors skipper Tom Kohler Cadmore reveals why the English winter weather provides him motivation at the DP World ILT20. Wazim Akram discusses the skills of the Warriors' rising UAE left-arm seamer Jawadullah. And golf giants all-rounder Chris Jordan answers the difficult questions in this or that. 
Yeah, lots to uh, look forward to. And, uh, well, we, we know now the toss. That's a good toss to, to win again and bowl first, isn't it, Dooley? Yeah, I think so. I looked at that surface, and uh, Danny mentioned a little bit at the toss, too. It looks a bit dry. I think there'll be some turn early on. So if the dew does come later on, the spinners won't have the same sort of effect, I don't think. I think it might turn a little bit early, a little yeah. bit tufty, and a lot drier than yesterday afternoon. So I yeah. think it is probably a very good toss yeah, good, to win. Good to see Tom Kola Cadmo back in action. He had a, a match off, of course, with the bump on his head. Uh, let's look at um, one of the UAE players was uh, jo Joel. Joe Wadullah, who's doing very, very well for the Warriors. Talk yeah. us through this action. I mean, this boy impressed me. His average pace has been in this tournament 137 plus. But in general, if you will talk about his action in general, but he's getting wickets as well because of the pace, the areas he hit, and he's got a very different action. action unorthodox action and I think if you come up talk about in this format players like Jawad al you see he front he jumps and then he lands on the same foot where he jumps from instead of the opposite proper way but that again reminds me of in T20 format if you talk about uh, Patirana if you talk about Jaspreet Bumrah and before that Malinga yes. something different something new yeah. and I think that's why uh, bowlers like him are successful in this format because by the time the batters get the hang of the action the four overs are over so yeah, yeah. very impressive this young boy it's like a scissor kick in mid-air Sohail Tanvir absolutely about, yes. Yes. I mean, yes. a compatriot of yours Sohail Tanvir go back to our day Wilco Mike Proctor oh back yeah old days. Lance Cairns a little yeah. bit off the wrong foot yeah. as well. The thing is, the thing what I like about that, and what we see in the subcontinent so much more, that would be coached out of him in New Zealand, England and Australia. Yeah. It would have been coached out of him. But you see this variation, you see the Patiranas, you see this type of thing in the subcontinent more so than you will ever see it, I think, in the southern hemisphere because it just gets coached out of you. That's why these differences and these different type of bowlers are so exciting and yeah. exciting to watch. I'm impressed with Joe Adula. I was out in the middle before, I stood alongside him. He's actually quite a small bloke. Quite yeah. skinny, but he's got good pace, takes wickets. I think there's a lot to like about him. Yeah, I, I think that goes for a few Afghanistan bowlers as well. Do you think of Naveen or Haq? I mean, there's a few things going on there. You think, well, we'd have to have a look at that. But no, he's doing well, as indeed is Jawadullah, uh, who we've just seen. There's another fellow uh, for the Gulf Giants, uh, Duli, Zoheb Zoheb who bowls his little leg spin. Another UAE player who's going well here. And, and this is what you want to see throughout the tournament, is the local players getting better. He had one tough over yesterday. It was, it was a tough one for him. He got belted all around and just one over. But he bowls it nicely, gives it some air, gives it a rip. It's the other thing I like about this tournament. Next season, I'd love to see two guaranteed and maybe one under 19 or under 20 in every playing 11 as well. It just promotes the UAE cricket. That's what the tournament is here for as well. Julie, no, um, I also think next year, the Emirates Cricket Board should talk to all the teams, especially the coaches and the owners, uh, the captains. They should know how the... More know, about them. More about the yeah. players, because they are useful players. They can get wickets, they can get run. Yeah. It's not happening this year. I mean, some teams are playing UAE players, they're not even doing anything in the playing 11. So that's not fair. I think that's very important. Yeah. It is a UAE league, yeah. and if player is good enough, if he's in playing 11, if he's a bowler, he should bowl. Absolutely right. OK, you would heard Simon Dill talking a bit about the pitch. Let's get another viewpoint now, if he can give it. Danny Morrison, <laughs> out there. Well, gentlemen, I'm part of this pace bowling quartet. Look at you chaps there. there, And I'm, I'm here on the 22 yards. And look, I concur with what's being said because in a way, at night, um, so much changes from the day. It's not nearly as green. You want to take the pitch out of play with your Yorkers, your wide Yorkers, all that sort of stuff. But changes of pace will be fascinating for the fast men with the new ball. And then again, the spinners, mm, I wonder if they'll have much of a say in terms of gripping because it's at night. So it does look a little dry, no doubt. I spoke to the ground staff and they said, look, hey, um, we're not going to put any uh, moisture in it because they had the day game just yesterday. So by and large, I think it looks a little better. And hopefully under lights, it slides on a bit more and uh, maybe the batters will just have a bit more say than they did yesterday. Yeah, thanks, Danny. Thanks very much indeed. There's a lot of noise inside here tonight. There's a good crowd, and we've had good crowds uh, for these matches to see some of these international players in uh, operation. Last year's top wicket-taker was Chris Jordan. Not sure what's happening to this year, but let's get to know him a little bit more personally. Weights or treadmill? Wait. 
Wake up early or wake up late? Wake up early. Spicy or mild? Spicy. Dogs or cats? Dogs. Beach or pool? Beach. Sing or dance? Ooh, tough one. <laughs> um, dance. Money or love? <laughs> uh, love. Driver or passenger? Driver. Tidy or messy? Tidy. And finally, make a hundred or take a five for? Ooh. Take a five for. I knew it and I love it. <laughs> Ooh, he, uh, he had a little bit of a pause there, didn't he? Right, Julie. A hundred or a fiver for oh, you? I only got one, one, one first-class hundred. Uh, it was more pretty than I special, got. <laughs> but I think from a bowling point of view, if you can ever win a game as a batter, it is a great feeling. So when you're batting 9, 10, 11 like I did most of my career, when you manage to win a game with the bat for your team, I don't think there's a better feeling. Yeah, good one, good. Uh, uh, well, this fella's t uh, top test score was 257. Yeah, exactly. You're well, welcome. Buddy, what about, <laughs> now then, what about the catching? Because he didn't mention any fielding or catching there, but last year he brought off the catch of the tournament. This was the catch of the tournament last year, Waz. It uh, definitely was the best catch last year. No wonder he won that prize because look, if you look at it, it was flying. And uh, the timing of the jump was picture perfect. And that's why he won that catch yeah. of the tournament. And absolutely spot uh, on, Ellen. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the bowler there was Carlos Brathwaite. Mm. We saw big Carlos yesterday taking a very smart Corton Bolt. These are very difficult. On the follow through, it, it's hard to adjust your eyes because you think it's always coming back at you a lot quicker than it is. And you're adjusting your eyes from the bowling length, from bowling the ball. All of a sudden, it's head up, thrust the hands out. I mean, he's got massive mitts, has big Carlos. They're huge hands. But that is a really tough and Eden, his young daughter, absolutely over the moon with that catch yeah. from Dad last night. Maybe a candidate, maybe a candidate for the Cycle Hub catch of the season. Yeah, might well be. Right, a uh, couple of Giants plays there. What about Tom Cole Cadmore? The young Englishman coming up after the break. We'll, uh, we'll be meeting him, uh, TKC, and his journey in cricket. Welcome back to the Dubai uh, Cricket Stadium here for the Giants against the Warriors. The Warriors have won the toss and they've decided to bowl first. Let's just uh, take a glance at the teams. The Giants here, was Yeah, more or less the same team. Maybe one change. I think uh, Usman Khan is not in the squad. Instead of their playing local, Ayan Afzal Khan. Otherwise, the same team and Zubair is the leg spinner, the local UAE player. The Giants skippered by James Vince. Dooley, the Warriors. Yeah, starting in 11 here, Mama Jawadula. We've talked a little bit about him. Deek Shana, Nilanj Kiswani. Look out for him, a spinner. So they've got another spin bowling option. And bowling first on this surface, I think, might produce a little bit of turn. They need more out of the likes of Sams, Williams. Denley is back, as is the skipper, TKC, which is good to see. It does strengthen their batting enough, and that'll be on show later on this evening. Yeah, uh, actually, uh, we're all very uh, pleased to see... Uh, Tom Kohler Cadmore, TKC, back in action after that bump that he took in Charger. Let's meet the young Englishman. Most of my cricket that I've played is against TKC, and that's the first time we've actually played on the same team. Um, I've seen him playing against me, and you know he's he, he could really thump it. Just a good player. He can play spin while he plays pace well. Here we go again. Superb from Cola Cadmore. You know, I always thought, gee, dangerous guy. You want, you want to get him out. It's just nice to kind of be able to get out of the English cold weather. So that's kind of my main motivation is the more runs I score, the less likely I'm going to be to have to go spend it in England. Here's that I can go to. For me, it's kind of, as an individual, is to try and win as many games as possible for the team, and then as a captain, is for the team to win as many games as possible. Um, you just feel it at training. You're going around. You're trying to make sure everyone else is okay, as well as getting your own skills done. So, for me, it's just to make sure that we have the confidence of the team to believe that we can go all the way this year. 
Well, that's very good news, not just for the Warriors, but also uh, for himself, Tom Kola Cadmore. Um, clearly, he was rattled. That Luke would hit, hit him on the head. You know, yeah, absolutely. It, it, look, it was a tough one to take. I, I know he had a little stomach bug as well, I think, the last couple of days, but this really rattled him a lot. He felt pretty bad afterwards, and I think it was a good precautionary measure just to leave him out, even though he was probably a little bit crook as well. But you know, he's a real talent, TKC. Yeah. I, I love the fact that he wants to come here during the uh, nice warmer time and get away from England, which most of us do, to be honest. <laughs> but um, he's a good performer around the world. Last year was very good. This year, not quite so good. It's a few of the English players have struggled. You think about James Vince, you think about the, both the skippers tonight haven't had a great time of it here in the tournament so far. The standard, I think, has got better from a bowling point of view. I think that's one thing I will say about this year. Yeah. And pitches are not that easy as well. Mm. They're good pitches. Something for the bowler early on, yeah. something for the batter. They're not like roads like my part of the world. Yeah. I like these pitches in yeah. this format. I, and also Sharjah, you, I mean, you've played many, many times in Sharjah. I mean, when I first went there, it was like an ironing board. There was not a blade of grass on yeah, it. Yeah, a lot like, of like sheen. Like Danny's head. Yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> uh, a lot of sheen, rock yeah, hard, no now, swing, nothing. And now this grass. Our days, bouncer was a no ball, remember? Yeah. <laughs> so it was so difficult to get yeah. away from a batter, especially in first 15 overs. Yeah. But the other day, we saw grass on Sharjah, another good sign. Yeah. I think with this T20 format. So it puts pressure then on bowlers to come up with new strategies, Dooley, doesn't it? Yeah, a little bit. And what we're seeing here with this tufty nature of the grass here at Dubai, International Stadium. Cross seam deliveries later in the piece, even quite early on if it's not swinging, they certainly come into play. Shiny side skids on a bit. The seam just grabs in those tufty areas of grass, sits up a little yeah. bit. It hasn't been easy for the batters up front. I think you've got to temper yourself a little bit in that first five, six overs at times not be overly aggressive and then maybe what we haven't seen enough of is sides being heavily scoring through that 7-14 to 14 period. Yeah. That's been a tough period to play. The spinners, Hasaranga put the brakes on yesterday. Yeah. You've got to go after those spinners a little bit more in those and middle overs. That's why the Gulf Giants are playing extra spinner instead of a better Ayaz. Yeah. I think Ayaz Zayan Khan is a left yeah. arm spinner. Maybe yeah. that's the reason they're playing him yeah. as well. Just before we finish, a bit of pressure on James Vince, the Giants skipper. He's been a short of runs in this tournament. Yeah, great leader, really. I mean, he's a champion captain. He does it uh, all over the world. He's a very fine player, but he has not got the runs he would like. He needs to score tonight. If they're to get anywhere near the playoff situation, then he needs to put a performance on the board tonight, I think. Yeah, and he's such a good player. He's played for England in various formats. So thanks very much, Simon Dool and Wasim Akram, as we just confirmed that the Warriors have won the toss and they are going to bowl first here in Dubai.